The summer of 2022 is turning out to be a very interesting one in terms of hip-hop and personally, I'm excited for what's to come. About one month ago, South African hip-hop, to many, was considered a dead genre, with not much music being produced making an impact in the mainstream, with the dominance of Ama Piano. One month ago, Big Zulu dropped a diss track going at many hip-hop artists. What Big Zulu evidently did was bring hip-hop back into conversation in mainstream media and on social media. In the following weeks to come, a whole number of diss tracks came out from other artists, responding to Big Zulu from more established artists like KO, Cuesta, Duncan and Casper, and also from less established artists like Roman Cigar, Loki and Call Me Kimo TV. Big Zulu became a sacrificial lamb for the game as he was getting attacked by hip-hop artists on all fronts, from MTN's Java coming out and cussing him out. <laughs> and the likes of AKA tweeting saying it isn't hip-hop to big up the people you're dissing. Big Zulu evidently gave hip-hop a much-needed kick to get going again, and this could possibly be his biggest contribution to the game. The wave of diss tracks have come and gone, but hip-hop artists are not sitting back and letting the wave die down as more and more songs are being released. When AKA was asked to respond to Big Zulu with a diss track of his own, he more interestingly decided to focus on taking that energy and making good music. He followed that up by announcing an upcoming album called Mass Country with some highly impressive visuals and possibly hinting all the artists he will be collaborating with on the album. AKA then released the single Lemons to Lemonade featuring Nasty C, which is an amazing single. AKA reminded South Africa how good he really is and why he was at the top for so long. Nasty C featuring in the song produced a verse that everybody is talking about. Cause like Nasty was fire. Yo! Oh, I, Let yeah, me read yeah, you yeah. the. Here you go. I, yeah, Keep yeah. a nice thing with lips and curves in my corner. A 10 on my lap. Maradona. I, I'm giving her some class. Cabernet Savion her. Here's my favorite line. When I made a gag, I was going for a tonsil. Yay! Yo. Yo. Uh, when I met her dad, I told him I'm, I'm an apostle. Damn, that nigga a fossil. Now everything is all right. You see my new car, right? I pulled up in the show and they were sleeping. The energy weak. I gave them some motive. Zaba, 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 zaba. Always out the country. I guess I'm zai, zai. When they pull me over... Uh, oh, here's, here's, oh yeah, 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 that's the mess my wife. Yeah. When they pull me over, I'm black. I might die. No SAP is cool drink. High five. Oh. I Oh, no, I get it. Yeah. Oh, you get it. Oh, no. Ah, no. S.A., what a place to reside. Yes. You get it now. Tides, Durban, the ever great side. Yes. Live on the highway, pepper steak pie. <laughs> no, you can't. You... Uh, but ah, black no. don't crack, so I bet I age fine. Got a little thing called ties. Rolled a little called dice. She rolled a little things called eyes. Wrote a little thing called rhymes. Never told lies. You just couldn't see it with your own eyes. Hey. I know. I know. <laughs> Guys, I, I know. Yeah. Zai, Zai. Call me Zai, Zai. Ah. Look, guys. AKA is currently fighting with KO as KO has released the Summer Jam in Sete, which is currently at the top of the charts. And AKA has shown some frustration as Sete is preventing his single, Lemons to Lemonade, from reaching the top of the charts. With this one single, AKA has set the tone for what's to come in his upcoming album and it's left fans excited for it. KO capitalized on the commotion caused by Big Zulu by responding to Big Zulu with a diss track of his own. And it was received well by fans as many believe it was the best diss track that came out from the more established artists. KO also has a single out, Sete, featuring Blackie and Young Stunner, which is currently topping the charts, getting radio play and trending online as one of the most used songs on TikTok trends. KO also released visuals for the song Sete, 
which currently has over 4 million views in the three weeks it was released. KO also just released Skanda Republic 3, an album with 14 songs. Skanda Republic 3 again reminds fans how good KO is as an artist and I personally have been listening to the album and it's very impressive and it sounds like another well put together album by KO. Even AKA has come out to applaud how good Skanda Republic 3 is and he says it's goated. Nasty C also dropped his Ivy Sun Army Tour mixtape, which is also being received well by his fans. And he is currently in America working with other artists, giving out free verses so there is more music we will hear from him. Um, I want to be a part of the culture out here, man. You know what I mean? And I feel like the most natural way for me to do that is to reach out to, to all the artists, not just artists that are like big and have made it and stuff like that, but artists who are on my caliber, and I mean out here, because I'm big back at home, but out here no one really knows me, so I'm up and coming out here. That's why I say, even if you're up and coming, man, just hit me up, you know? And I want to I wanna work with as many artists as possible. I don't care if I end up doing 30 verses, 50 verses. That would be even better. I would like that. Do you know what I mean? So if you're a dope artist from out here in the States, hit me up. Hit up my, my, uh, my comment section, my DM. Casper can never be left out of the conversation as he has also capitalized on the new found wave in hip-hop, releasing visuals to his diss track aimed at Big Zulu. And now he recently just released a new single, Pardon My Arrogance, with visuals of him in London. A more interesting thing I have noticed is that hip-hop artists are collaborating again. DJ Slick recently released a song called Stay Soft featuring the likes of 25k, MT and Flo Joan. Smash Beats also released Never Ride Remix featuring a whole crew of new school rappers with the likes of 25k, Lucas Raps and more established artists such as Saudi, Java and Youngster CPT. And the visuals seem heavily inspired by the Amanto Mazanu remix visuals with a group of rappers in a black and white graded music video with the white background. Phantom Steez also released Zonke featuring established artists like Java, aka Nadia Nakai and Robot Boy. For the first time in a while, I have hip hop music on rotation in my playlist and it's looking like a good summer for hip hop as chart topping music is being released. My question is, where was all this energy from hip hop in the last three years, huh? Huh? Another question I have in my mind is, will hip hop artists keep this momentum going for a sustained period of time? 